Hello, welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. You are such a lovely, lovely person for tuning into our show. Thank you very much. We applaud you. Welcome. We bring you greetings from the West Angeles Church of God in Christ, where Bishop Charles E. Blake is our pastor and Mrs. May L. Blake is our, our first lady. We love you and thank you for tuning in. Uh, we have a show that we want you to join in and kind of share. And um, we want you also to grab your pen and your paper because we want you to take down our contact information to end if you so choose to uh, give us your prayer request, to give us your show comments, just whatever your hearts may be, uh, our phone number. God be with you and just know that we welcome, welcome your response. Well, as always, I have the very lovely Pamela Webb with Dr. me. Dr. Lewis, now, look, are you looking for a check? No. Okay, thank you. I'm being very good. Okay. The thank lovely you so Pamela Webb. <laughs> okay. How are you doing, Dr. I'm Lewis? I'm fine. How we can do yourself? that, right? We can do that. <laughs> I'm just doing great. We're going to have a very uh, interesting okay. uh, topic, and okay. it's a desire to help. Okay. And you, we know as being in the body of Christ, we are called to serve. Yes. And God appoints certain uh, individuals to go even beyond a call of service. Mm -hmm. And so we have two interesting guests that you're going to introduce. <laughs> no, I'm going to let them introduce their own selves. How about oh, that? Come on, please. <laughs> oh, don't even try it. Don't even try it. I, we have before us Charlie and Gracie. K9. Pronounce the last name. K9. Right. I, I ain't sure. Ain't no, ain't no shame in my game. You know what? In fact, give us your whole name. Uh, my uh -huh. my name is Charlie uh -huh. Olisa Kaine. Okay. The Olisa is O L I S A. My middle name. Okay. Yeah, which means supreme supreme being. Okay. Yes. And, wow. And Lady Grace, <laughs> what is your whole name? Your entire name? Grace Obiageli Kaine. Oh. Obiageli is the middle name. Oh. Oh. Obiageli. And what does that mean? It means um, somebody who has come to enjoy. Okay. My, and, oh. my father loved me so much. <laughs> he missed the mother, so I was the mother <laughs> he missed. So he said, you've come to enjoy. Oh. Yeah, so, and he really was true to that name. He made me enjoy. Oh. So, Obiageli. Mm -hmm. Well, you're such a wonderful, <laughs> I mean, I, I call you Princess Grace uh, all the time because you are, you know, you're very old. You, know, you carry yourself in that way. How long have you two been married? Um, this year will be 25, 25 years. years. 25 years. Congratulations. <laughs> you're going to make it 25 days. You're going to make it 25 days. Hello. Oh, that is great. How did you meet? Okay. Um, after high school, we just started some job while we're waiting to go to the university or something. Then one day, he walked into the family <laughs> house <laughs> uh -oh. with uh, my brother because okay. they walked together. Okay. So he opened the door. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> because so many people were in the, in the living room. Okay. So he came in. And then, <laughs> from oh, there, the spark happened. Oh, <laughs> the spark. Did the spark. you notice? So did him. you know? Did you notice, Grace? Uh, uh, not immediately, because um, um, you see, I'm from a very. At the time, my dad and I just lived in a new house in okay. Lagos. Okay. Um, so when I walked in, I'm not used to st uh, staying with a crowd of people. Okay. So when I walked in, there were ten of them. <laughs> I was in shock. <laughs> yes. mm. So I wanted to go back, you know. But <laughs> Because I was stunned, you know. So, so I go to mm -hmm. dad, you know, go after papa, mama. Uh -huh. Then our mm -hmm. brother, you know, uh, took me to where she was. Uh -huh. And I sat by her on the dining table, and uh, uh, I think that's why she oh, that's couldn't resist me. Oh, Lord. That's <laughs> really, that is great. Where are you originally from? Uh, Nigeria, Nigeria. But, uh, different towns in Nigeria. I'm from uh, the east. My town is Osomari. Okay. O S S O M A R I. That there's a mm -hmm. distinction in the pronunciation or spelling. Uh, I don't know where they came from, but I, I chose that O S S. Some spell it O S. Only one S. Okay. Uh, summary, and she's from. Um, I'm from a Delta state. Mm. Is a new state. Mm. Okay. It used to be Midwest. I'm mm. um, the Midwestern Igbo, mm. Anioma, mm. but the town, my 
hometown is Ubuluku. Okay. Yeah. Ubuluku. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 it's a beautiful no. land. It's a cultural name. Yes. I know. No, culturally connected. No mm. name is wasted. Everything means something. Mm. Yeah. Some yeah. of them we know, some mm. we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some you even know. Yeah. yeah so, but it's always something great. Ubuluku Uku means great. Mm. Oh. So great. Yeah. That town. Yeah. My town. You know, my town is. Uh, I call it the uh, the Malibu of Nigeria because oh. my town sits. 100 yards from the river Niger. Oh, okay. My town yeah, is wow. right there on the ocean. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's so a beautiful place. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been in the USA, the United States? How many years? Uh, 20, 20 something? 20 26 or so. 26 or so. For me, yeah. 26. Oh. Yeah, I think oh. 20, 27 or so for me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you oh, think you'll okay. be relocating back home, or is this going to be your home, or what? Well, eventually, I think. Yeah, when we get yeah, older, maybe, you know, in the 90s or 100s. <laughs> <laughs> you go back home. Yeah. Right, right now, you know, I think this is home. Oh, yeah, okay. it's been for home now, for some we're time. comfortable yeah. here. Yeah. This is home. Yeah. Oh, well, it's definitely wow. our gain to have you here. That's yes. right. <laughs> now, we're talking about a desire to help. Yes. Gracie, how do you desire to help others? Okay. Um, helping others has always been something I grew up in mm. because at home my father has always taught us it's better to give than to receive wow. and he lived by the example so even in my high school during high school uh -huh. I was assistant um, Sunday school teacher <laughs> <laughs> you know helping the teachers I've always done something to help but now I have moved on to something else which is helping children oh. on a different level oh, okay especially children of elementary school age okay in the villages okay. not in the city because okay. the sea in the city they could help get some help okay but in the villages they rarely have help and what really moved me is during one of my visits mm -hmm. I s we saw children carrying desks mm. and chairs to school mm. on foot they will carry it on their head and walk to school mm. and then um, before school starts. Imagine carrying desk and chair to school. Wow. Exactly. And then to get to school, as we were inquiring, we found out that there are not enough books for every student. Mm -hmm. They have just a handful. Oh, yeah. wow. And you have a class full of children. Uh -huh. Yeah. So from then on, it's like, okay, what do I do to make a difference? Mm -hmm. Because we have been brought up to believe and we still believe in it that education is very important okay. right uh -huh. mm -hmm. it doesn't matter whether you get job good job with it or not uh -huh. forget that, get the education okay. because it educates the mind right mm -hmm. and where do we start the education from from youth exactly. mm -hmm. they start getting it right when they're young they start getting it into in getting it into their heads that they need education mm -hmm. they would definitely love to go to school mm -hmm. so we talked about it mm -hmm. okay. during my visits i would take little things uh -huh. like pencils and uh -huh. papers uh -huh. to me okay. i say little things uh -huh. right. well, but it's very but it's important. Yeah. helpful it's important right. mm -hmm. even <coughs> chalk for the chalkboard and everything mm -hmm. we distribute them mm -hmm. so we decided to form a non-profit organization and try to do some fundraising to get some money to help these children especially with textbooks Textbook. oh. yes yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's the uh, that's the that's how we came about becca mm -hmm. which is better education for children of africa oh, okay. becca b-e-c-a -E -E yeah. 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 that was the idea that's incredible oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised that she would come up with that right. because yes. of mm -hmm. because of the warmth and embracing and caregiver mm -hmm. that she is and mm -hmm. she loves children I, I don't know if it's because she came from a big family but she loves children uh -huh. children gravitate towards her okay oh. yes you know i mean even in yeah. the street when we go to parties uh -huh. here uh -huh. i remember when one day you know a few months ago when this boy came a seven-year-old boy said you are my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I said, what? Do you know I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. you know, you don't know you're my wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. they love her and, and, mm -hmm. she, and she reciprocates too. It's amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. she, mm -hmm. yeah that is shows, amazing. Yeah. How long has it been since you formed the uh, BECA, the Better Education? Mm -hmm. For be better education for Africa. For Africa. Mm -hmm. Children mm -hmm. of Africa. Uh, Africa BECA. 2000, 2000, yeah, 2000. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't been back home for some mm -hmm. personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. But by the grace of God, mm -hmm. I'm ready to go back again. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, I, I'm hoping to go back and make 
some sort of difference yeah. you know give them again encourage them yeah. yeah because when we when i take those little things i mm -hmm. tell the teachers uh -huh. Tell the students to work hard. Uh, whoever does so well in school mm -hmm. to expect something, oh, you know, in return. Yeah, because right, exactly. right. Yeah, these children are really, they really love to study, uh -huh. but without books, they don't they, they, they get there's it. no homework. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the time the teacher writes out the daily subject right. or what he or she will teach, right. it's half of the time, mm -hmm. and then explain it so that it's of their time. Mm -hmm. These children, without Without homework, you can study. Right. Mm -hmm. They are interested mm -hmm. in studying. Mm -hmm. So of I yeah. pray and hope that more people will donate their time mm -hmm. and some money mm -hmm. for them to be able to buy textbooks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will. I mean, I, yeah. I, I mean mm -hmm. that motivates me to yes. be a part of mm -hmm. that. You know. Mm -hmm. And so when you do, uh, okay. please let right. us know because mm -hmm. we would like to. Um, so into that mm -hmm. okay. you know I you know and I know that people are people wherever you go mm -hmm. but I have to say that when it comes to those of African descent mm -hmm. um, you all whenever you find one that is educated you mm -hmm. find one that is educated <laughs> and and one who has a, a focus mm -hmm. of education and mm -hmm. bettering themselves mm -hmm. I mean a very a lot of professional yes. individuals mm -hmm. are from your mm -hmm. country and, and, uh, and also what made us natural made Becca to be official was after the initial time she traveled and gave them these little gifts, uh -huh. the response we got from the principals shocked me. We have letters at home. Oh. Uh, they were writing to thank us, and we said, oh, <laughs> so this, the, this is uh, wow. something. So that's when we, we now thought maybe this could be a uh, business, mm -hmm. sort, of, I mean, sort of just in the personal, you know, from our personal pockets. You know, They are very grateful. Mm -hmm. For those yes. of you who are so grateful, yes. we were st stunned. Really? Yes. You know, so we said, okay. We take a little bit further than that. Then. Oh, yeah. wow! Mm -hmm. But you, 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 you're choosing to be the voice that they need yes. to be, huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah. especially and those ones in the villages. In the villages, yes. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know what computer is. Most yeah. of them, you know. So, without the, let's leave the computer alone. Yeah. At least I let have. them be able to mm -hmm. study, go mm -hmm. to school, read and write. Mm -hmm. And those who are able to go to the level to move on to high school. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. They are not able, the parents are not able to pay for the exit exam. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. okay. So that holds them back. Yes. Wow. Without the exit exam, they can they go can to college. 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 Whatever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because most of their parents are farmers yeah. or people who are petty traders. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they would mm -hmm. rather have the children yes. going to farm where they think they'll be more productive exactly. than spending money uh -huh. that they don't have, right. Right. Okay. you know, to mm -hmm. send them to school. They're right. the future, mm -hmm. but we do, since we do, we are their focus. We are the children's focus in okay. where they are, yeah, their eyes. To the future. So we right. also educate the parents to know that, don't worry, you know, everybody can be farmers. You right. know. Some mm -hmm. people have to go somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and come back, you know. Because yeah. our president, you know, uh, our former president, Dr. Namudi Azikiwe, uh. he came to the United States, you know, he, he washed dishes here. Oh. you know to go to school to pay his way to go to school really? yeah, he became wow. the president of nigeria really so if you were kept in the village in the wound that meant you know right made right. that you know mm -hmm. that, that move yeah so so yeah. where do you see becca going from here what, what are some of your future dreams and goals oh. for oh. becca <laughs> <It's only laughs> this is grace <laughs> okay. Okay. my goal for becca will be that aside from becca okay. i would like to publicize this need okay so that the more beckers or the more people you have uh -huh. giving to these children, uh -huh. the better. better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to publicize it so that people will know that there's a need uh -huh. mm -hmm. that we need to fill somehow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for Becca, it, I, will be, I would love so much to be able to go, not just Nigeria, but other parts of Africa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because where there's need in, uh, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. similar needs will somewhere be somewhere else. else. Right. So right. go to different parts of Africa mm -hmm. to donate textbooks. Mm -hmm. And if possible, as the years go by or as we collect more money, mm -hmm. probably probably build a room where they could call library. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh. Keep books, okay. pay some teachers yeah. so okay. that if students need Help, help they can they go there the for tutoring right. like, yeah for tutoring oh. and like resource centers yes. mm -hmm. so that is what i'm looking oh. forward to oh, wow. oh wonderful mm -hmm. what which what, what level of children are you um feeling focus. a uh, yeah more mm -hmm. focus on the uh, elementary I think yes. elementary elementary, yeah, elementary. Yeah, starting that's from elementary that's, that's, where they start. that's yes. foundational yes, yes. yes. that's foundational mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we can if you can get them mold them to know you know that they have a future then they will adapt and you know, they'll grow from there
and they cannot lose what they've learned. Right. That's yes. Right. So, so that's our focus. So back at yeah. home, are are the school or the uh, children of all ages? Do they go to the same school, or do they have different school sites? Like we would have different school mm. sites. That's a good here. question. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, like in my town. Uh, yeah, some of them go to the same, the same school, okay. and they have petitions. What, what really, I'm surprised you asked that question, as if you knew. <laughs> when I went to my own hometown, the uh -huh. school there is like a long hall, you know, with you know, no partitions. Now, I want to, to focus on this. Imagine you know, uh, the uh, first grade, okay. in this, this section of the hall, uh -huh. okay. second grade, you know, and third grade to six, okay. no partitions. So okay. when, they, when the teacher is Voice teaching is voices, mm -hmm. I can stay and hear what the sixth grade is, you know, and that's not so good. And I was, right. and these kids, are, they can concentrate and then also uh, follow what's going on. And wow. I said, wow, this is tough. That's mm -hmm. amazing. So they are wow. tasking their brain. Uh -huh. You see, can you imagine when they have their own classrooms? Of course. Right. And of chairs course. and desks? Of course. Mm. That's our vision for them. We wouldn't have surprised them one of these days. Oh, <laughs> yes. wow. Mm. Praise yeah. God. Well, I, I certainly know that um, with that Becca in your heart, mm -hmm. that you're going to bless many of your children with that vision. Pray. Yes. Yeah. We we'll pray every day for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. To, to yeah. To become a reality, mm -hmm. and, and and it will. And yeah. It's it's uh, it's going to grow more. I I prophesy it's going to grow more and more, oh, and greater and greater in Amen. Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 With the That's right that right spirit. Yeah. Mm. Now, Charlie, what do you do besides <laughs> helping Lady Grace with Becca? <laughs> yeah, she appointed me co-director. <laughs> Oh, I want to be an assistant. She said no. You have to be an assistant. I said no. No assistant. You're, the, you're my co-director. So that, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. I also have a minister of my own. You know, as okay. you know, I want to be a minister. You know, mm -hmm. but I'm in mortgage banking right now. You okay. know, mortgage banking. Yeah. Which I think I'm gonna phase that out gradually because the more I think about God's, you know, lot, lot of work, uh -huh. nothing fascinates me anymore than you know. Because oh. with Becca, you know, we have so much to do anyway. So mm -hmm. for now, I'm doing mortgage banking. Okay. I do loans. You know, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. How long have you been a mortgage banker? Oh, I say this is my 14th year. Okay. Because I started when my daughter was born, Beverly, I last born. She's my princess. You know? oh. So, yeah, I used that to, uh, I dedicated that business to her when she was, and when she was two days old, I brag all the time about when she was two days old, <laughs> I took her to the doctor by myself. Oh, did yes. you? Well, yeah, I when she was, you well, when she was home resting, you know. Oh, yeah. that's, yes. right. that's right. Yeah, so, <laughs> and uh, when I could do that, I said, hmm. So I be the sat as she she was two years old. Mm -hmm. She used to stay in my office, you know, I built a little corner for her. <laughs> and, and then when she became when she was able to get up and walk around, you know, when, I, when the facts came, she said, Daddy fax, Daddy fax and she'd go around and get it. Oh, yes. Yes. That was nineteen ninety, yeah. And then when she um you know, we used to use beepers then in those days. Oh yeah, right. Daddy, beepers, beepers. She was my secretary. She was trained in the office. At two years old, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah. So, so, so now, what exactly does a mortgage banker do? A mortgage banker is actually named for you know, as opposed to normal banking, commercial banks. This is we do mortgage loans only. You know, home loans only. Okay. That's what mortgage banking is all about. You know, you do loans for homeowners from one to four units. Okay. And then you know anything over after four becomes commercial. Okay. So okay. yeah, uh -huh. so we do yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. So there's no checking account, no savings, no other business that other banks come. That's just mortgage. You know, that oh, okay. only yes. That's what mortgage is. You know. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Home, home loans only. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you display in your pers uh, profession uh, your desire to help others? How can we? How would one detect that? you really desire to help others in your profession of, as a mortgage yeah. banker? Uh, as a mortgage banker, uh, first thing I tell people or people should look out for is, first of all, when, when someone wants a loan, you are requested to get you know, uh, uh, an estimate. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we call it good for the estimate, right? You okay, know. right. Uh, what good, uh, for, uh, good for the estimate is, is to uh, tabulate you know, what they what you've quoted them, the rate you gave them, mm -hmm. the, uh, how much you're going to cost them. Right. But what happens is most of the time, when a broker gives somebody uh, a quote over the phone, uh -huh. it's not really the same as what they send you. You uh -huh. know, when they send okay. you has mm. padded information with you know, and they go, uh, this two hundred fifty. This uh, at the end right. they come to about seven thousand from right. five. Right. So what I advise people to do is, when you get the quote, tell them to put it in writing. That's uh -huh. what good for the estimate is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everything that that is not a word. If I get this loan. This was going to cost me nothing more. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. State, uh -huh, exactly. Right. So because that's that's mm -hmm. sure that the co company is honest. I know because mm -hmm. I uh, when I refinanced my home, um, that was the def deciding factor between mm -hmm. who I, who I was going to go exactly. with was the bottom line. Exactly. Because yes. the bottom line mm -hmm. meant the <laughs> bottom <laughs> dollar that was yeah, exactly, in my pocket. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I had to look out for myself. And also one more thing too, mm -hmm. um, if you have um, in order to save money, also besides the uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, fees uh -huh. for the loan. Um, 
the interest rate that you get, you know, you must at least have one point savings from what you have. In other words, if you have okay. seven percent, you uh -huh. know, don't get uh, six point five because the extra extra five uh, point five percent won't won't save much for you. Okay. And then you're paying seven thousand to get that. Okay. So mm -hmm. it must be at least one point. One point means one percent okay. of the loan amount. Okay. okay. Yes, mm -hmm. it might at least have you know dip so you can be saving a substantial amount of money. So instead mm -hmm. of so if, so if the origin was seven percent, yeah. then at least get a six. Uh, you know, know, a six, th yes. Don't yeah. sell it for stay where you yeah, are. Exa if you're going oh, exactly. You know, stay, you know, stay where you are and mm -hmm. add extra payments at the end of the month towards your mortgage. It will accelerate your mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't just get a new rate because somebody says they can get you something. Okay. No, mm -hmm. that's to be substantial All right. or nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't compromise. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't compromise. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and really and truly, uh, getting <coughs> a combination of beers really are good because. Mm -hmm. I know I um, uh, I got one uh, where uh, they advertise you know they give you four uh, mm -hmm. four bids okay. and uh, and and it was beneficial for me okay. rather than trying to seek out one okay. and one and one you yes. know when they all knew they were bidding for my uh, exactly you know for my business exactly mm -hmm. you know when I, they I know they, they stop you know, they <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As my friend said, they said that <laughs> foolish talk. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, yes. That no, we can't do this, we can't do yeah, that. Exactly, yeah. What are some other pitfalls that you notice uh, in dealing with us that we, the, we the public, sometimes fall into? Um, uh, I think the most important thing for me, because uh, I used to give seminars on this too, is to the homeowners also should have something that's very critical. In other words, your documents must be current okay you must know where they are because we the uh, uh, loan brokers mm -hmm. get upset when i have an appointment with you, <laughs> uh, you I, I, and i come to your house and I spend you two hours and then yeah. see on the phone they on the phone they tell me oh i have all my papers <laughs> <laughs> and they do have the paperwork it's on the where it is exactly, but they have exactly. it. <laughs> in the, nowadays it's easier everything's done by computer and phone uh -huh. or fax but then i used to go to people's homes i've been to people's homes i spent three hours because he or she is looking through the kitchen drawers <laughs> Before he was doing the negotiating business, yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, "Didn't you tell me that you <laughs> had, yeah, at three o'clock?" No. And I'm, you know, I'm here, still here at seven p.m. Yeah. And that's yeah. my time is money. Yes, no. Mm. And don't forget, I'm hungry too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so please. No, and besides the the, the, the the funny part is, it, it makes your life easier when you have your document, your your you know bank statements, you know your Everything. mortgage papers, mm. all in one place. You know, yes. and if you don't know where they are, leave them. I come out, see if that what I need. Because some of them don't know what they. Trust it is or note of deed. Oh. They don't say which one. I said, don't worry, just just keep the pile. Okay. When I come out, I'll, I'll, yeah, what mm. I what I need, yes. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's the one part of the question you asked. And the other part is to always make sure that you know uh, you are they are up and up with you. You know, mm -hmm. no hidden costs. You know, uh, if they say no point. You know, make sure right. you know no because no points. You know, uh, they get points. You know, somehow, yeah, from the other end. So just be careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you're not sure, ask you know your son or if you know a lawyer friend. Uh -huh. Yes, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 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 what's your take on this mortgage? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> you just leave that alone to him, yeah. or what? No, mortgage, no, not That's for not me. <laughs> <laughs> Real estate, yes. Yeah, so. What yeah. else do you do, Grace? Yes, I, I'm trying to phase into it to oh. give me more time. Okay. To do better. Okay. Because oh. nine to five, mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time right. at work. In, in By the time you come That's back, right. you're tired. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But with them. Um, Real estate, I can walk around it okay. mm. because, I, as I said, I really want to get it moving. Mm -hmm. And whatever else I can do, you know, just as you said, what can we do to show that we're trying to help others? Mm -hmm. I can put it behind my card, not just for Becca, but for people right. Right. Mm -hmm. to know that people have needs. Right. Let's say here, I would love to see a cultural center uh -huh. where all cultures, uh -huh. people can come to showcase their mm -hmm. cultures, uh -huh. which especially to children, right, right. so that they start getting to know it's other people's culture. Uh -huh. right. You know, mm -hmm. as they get older, mm -hmm. they've already experienced different cultures mm -hmm. that will open up minds, uh -huh. yes. you know. So those are my interests. Mm -hmm. Those are the things I really want to do. Oh, wow. okay. Cultural something and Becca. Oh, okay. You know, oh. Because I live here. This is my home too. <laughs> <laughs> I know we need that. Right, yeah. exactly. So like African culture, we can show different types of African cultures right. here or have some seminars, sit together, mm -hmm. talk right. about things. I'd like to know more. Uh -huh. Like last Sunday uh -huh. in Overcomers uh -huh. yeah. Club. <laughs> yes. 
I learned something new, uh -huh. and that was great. Uh -huh. That was great. The uh -huh. painting, the yeah, first painting. Yeah, exactly. Know, exactly. That was Quite great. Exactly. I was so, it's like, okay. Our history. You I better start you know, asking you know more about questions. Our yes. History. Yes. 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 The history, you're talking about your history, you know, the painting, the first one, the village with the uh -huh. guy was yes. praying yes. to God. Yes. That reminds me of our village also. Okay. Because that's the same thing. So you can still relate. Oh, definitely. It's yes. all the same. It's uh -huh. all the same. Yeah, it's the same. To praise God. In that form, mm -hmm. that was that fabulous. Was that, that was fabulous. Yes. That was so, very so we need something mm -hmm. or some mm -hmm. sort of settings where we can exchange information mm -hmm. and especially children. Uh -huh. one of those of those for children, right. the one for mm -hmm. children. That's mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. I'm really because oh. I know with children, we all know that children are like sponges. Mm -hmm. They, they soak up yes, yes, yeah, everything. Into more than the right that's way, right. You know, yes. So it's good to sew it in them. Yeah. Soak it up and mm -hmm. then it grows. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> soak, let yeah. soak it up. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're down to the last couple of minutes of okay. the show. Okay. So my question to you both would be: We're talking about a desire to help. Yes. What would be your final word? Your final words, Gracie, and then we'll come to you, mm -hmm. Charlie, in a nutshell. Okay. My final word is: Anybody watching, uh -huh. it will just be a gift to God to reach out and touch somebody. It could be here, it could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Any child, mm -hmm. help children, mm -hmm. they need help. They need help. They need, help. They need our love. Mm -hmm. oh, That's what wow. it is because mm -hmm. growing up with a good mind mm -hmm. helps a great, uh, you know, helps a lot. Uh -huh. If a child grows up in a positive setting, mm -hmm. Believe me, that child, the sky is the limit. They will blossom. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. like All right. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie, what's your final word? Well, I'm into ministry now. Okay. Uh, you know, as you know, I'm in school right now. Mm -hmm. I'm in Bible college also. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I wanted to do that because um, though I've always wanted to be a priest since I was a child, but okay. I didn't have a chance to. Oh. So uh, with my ministry as a minister, mm -hmm. you know, the children need to be educated also and to be molded, you know, mm -hmm. in Christ, you know. Right, from spiritually, so. spiritually. Yes. Uh -huh. So me, my ministry combined with hers will make a great you know, combination oh, for yeah. the children, you know. Uh, and the children all over the world eventually, not just Africa, okay. but everywhere. Oh, yes. So wow. that's what we want to do, yes. Oh, wow. We love children, we want to help them, you know, grow in Christ, uh -huh. also grow, you know, in their minds. Right, exactly. So they can enjoy yeah. this life, you know. Like yes. a two bookends. That's yes. a good thing. Yes. Exactly. You complement right. each other. Yes. Your ministries uh -huh. are complementing yes. each other. Yes. And nothing is more powerful in, in helping uh -huh. than, than for the couples, couples to be on the mm -hmm. same exactly. page. Yes. Yes. You know, you're not jealous of her, mm -hmm. you're not jealous of him. No. We're working together knowing that, hey, let's do this thing together. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the two of you mm -hmm. together can can go far beyond what just one of you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm really grateful to, to, to know her because um, you know, um, as a child, I went through a tough time when my mother died, you know, and um, You said when you were one year old? Oh, yeah, I never knew her, yes, you know. Uh, wow. All the story I know about my mom, I was told, because mm -hmm. she was a great lady, she was mm -hmm. the principal of a school. But she came into my life, and then um, I was to be down, but now when I see her, I say, God lost me. Oh, oh wow. of and course. Because, you know, because he's blessed you with right. such a yes, beautiful yes, child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we have come to the mm -hmm. end of our show. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here. Thank you for having Remember, us. Remember, a desire to help. That should be in all of our hearts. Yes. Help somebody. It'll mm -hmm. bless you. We'll see you later. We love you. Take care. Mm -hmm. God bless. A desire yeah, to help. Thank you. Thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much.